Shalom, brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Tim. Um, I want to thank everyone who was praying for me and my family, my son Christopher and his uh, lovely bride, my daughter in love Emily, lost their little girl, Addison. Um, she was 28 weeks pregnant and Addison was stillborn and it was a very rough day on us but I, many of you have reached out and I wanted to give you a huge thank you let you know we love you um, I'm going off I will be doing a live Sunday as the Lord leads me but I'm taking today and tomorrow and then most of Sunday and I'm just going to spend time with the Lord time in prayer getting away it's been a very heavy week for me first Last Friday, we had a, a dear sister in Christ from our church who went home to be with the Lord. And I performed the Celebration of Life Tuesday. And then yesterday with my son and his wife and my daughter Allie was there. And uh, just, a, just a rough day. And, and there are times that we need to get alone and just press into God. I can declare the goodness of God even in the midst of all this. And now I believe the loveliest bride in all of heaven is just joyfully rejoicing with my 18th grandchild, my granddaughter, Addison Hope Leanne Henderson. So again, thank you all for praying. I did want to come on. Shout out to Sister Ashley. Uh, if I'm up to it tomorrow, I'll do a more detailed prophetic news update, but I want you to be aware of two key things that are happening in the news right now. First of all, Moldova, uh, Romania is Romania is looking to to annex former territories that was part of that uh, from Moldova and from the Ukraine. Things are really heating up with these tensions around the Ukraine. So keep your eyes posted for that. Additionally, more threats of bank closures, not only in the United States of America, bank failures, but also in other parts of the world. This is a move, folks, and you know what I'm talking about. Then the U.S. military forces have been under attack by Iranian drones in Syria. We had a contractor, a U.S. contractor killed, and I know of at least five military personnel. Please, please pray for our military and our forces there in Syria. This is These are Iranian drones. Now, what you need to keep in mind is that Iran and Russia, Russia is really calling the shots in Syria. And Russia and Iran are strong allies, along with China coming in the fray. Brothers and sisters, we are a, to the world scene, the U.S. is weakened. We're weakened. We, they, they know we're vulnerable. They're also looking at the vulnerability right now with all the battles over the judicial system in Israel. So two strong allies. That being said, this Biden administration is doing things that are so anti-Israel, God have mercy on us. But I wanted to come on and again, thank everyone and let you know there are some really key things that are happening in the geopolitical that point to the prophetic. I'll tell you one thing I know for certain. If you have believed that Jesus is the Messiah, he shed his blood and died for your sins and rose again on the third day, boom! The nanosecond, the raptosecond, the zeptosecond, the instant you believe on him, you are born again and dwelt with Holy Spirit, saved, sealed, and sanctified until the day of redemption, heaven bound, and rapture ready. Praise God. Remember, God loves you fiercely and passionately. I love you too. Shalom, shalom, and have an awesome rest of your day.